you know, you talk long enough and you're bound to make a grammatical mistake. Okay, so I love this idea, especially if you have kids or grandkids. I actually already ordered it. Um, it's a hummingbird feeder. You know, I always want, my mom has a hummingbird feeder and every time I've been at her house and she sits at the window and she sees the hummingbirds, I'm always like, I should get a hummingbird feeder. Well, this made me take the plunge because not only is it so cute, like it's very retro. It looks like a little bit, oh, like a kind of a 1940s design. A really pretty feeder, really easy to use, really easy to clean. It's the better hummingbird feeder. It also comes with a hand feeder so within about a week you will be able to train hummingbirds to literally eat out of the palm of your hand I am so excited about this let me show you the colors and then we want to get right to it Sean Pickford's here so this is your clear the clear has the yellow flowers that's the one I ordered we have the red and then we have this really pretty pink, which I know is our most limited. We only have 500 in the pink. So Sean Pickford is here. He brings us all kinds of great do-it-yourself items. In this case, he's just bringing something fun. And Sean, I know that Perky Pet has been making bird feeders and hummingbird feeders for more than 60 years. Like, they yes. know what they're doing. Yeah, they helped invent the hummingbird feeder as we know it today. They've made it so much easier now because before you would have to take this guy turn it upside down, put in your nectar, then flip it over and hope you didn't spill anything. Right. Well, now we have the large opening, three inches. So with the acrylic top on here that seals, this is all glass, like you said, it's a diamond pattern, so you can hear that glass. So it's going to reflect in the sunlight and give beautiful colors, but it's also going to attract those hummingbirds. But the magic is right here, this one, like you said. This is so cool. Now, all you simply do is put your favorite nectar in here, sit it out for about a week, after a week, when they're accustomed to coming to it and feeding from it, now you can hold it in your hand. And as you hold it in your hand, those little hummingbirds will fly up and feed from the palm of your hand so you get the best seat in so the house. Fun. This, I it's know this awesome. is so cool. You know, Sean, last time I was with you, I said, I'm ordering this. I did order this. I cannot wait to use it. And what's really awesome is I'm thinking, like right there, you can see how easy it is to fill. But because you have the hand feeder, you actually essentially, for all intents and purposes, have two hummingbird feeders. So put one maybe right. in your front yard, one in your back, any place that you have a window where you're going to be able to use it. And Sean, it's so fun and I think rewarding. Oh to know that you're feeding the hummingbirds. Tell me about the nectar. It's super easy, I just want everyone to understand. Yep. Yeah, the nectar is really easy. Basically, it's one part sugar, four parts water. So you can put any of your favorite nectar in there. Perky Pet makes their own, which is really cool. We use a lot of that around my house here. Those hummingbirds are migrating right now. They started in February. So they're making their way to the warmer climate. Before soon, You'll be able to look out your window, look into your hummingbird feeder and see that guy feeding from the nectar. The other cool thing about these is they attract the hummingbirds, but they don't attract the bees because we have a longer stem on the petal of our flower. Mm -hmm. The flowers mimic real flower, so they're more attracted to it. So the bees can't get to the nectar, so they're not gonna bother you or the hummingbirds. And I love that it's a top fill too. So too. it makes it so much easier to deal with. So you're not flipping it over and it's so not getting fun. all over the place. I mean, when yeah. you get it at home, we ask you just to twist it on. Mm -hmm. The little tags that were in mm -hmm. yours tell you just to make sure the bottom. Yep. So give it a little twist, mm -hmm. okay? Make sure that it's on nice and tight. Take your favorite nectar. Again, this is my Perky Pet nectar that mm -hmm. I have here. Love this stuff. So all you simply do is pour it in here. Then you put in as much as you want and check it every now and then yeah. because you'll really start to see it go down because when those guys get thirsty, they'll come back time after time after mm -hmm. time. And what's so cool is if you can get them to come back, and when they start feeding from the oh my palm gosh. of your hand. I can't wait. And you get that, oh, I can't either. I'm so excited because I, I, I love them, but they're so small that I, I even tried to set up a camera to get pictures uh -huh. of them and stuff like that. Now I can hold it in my hand it's and they'll awesome. fly right up to it. I cannot wait for that. You know, Sean, last time you and I were together and I said I was getting this for my 11-year-old daughter, the truth is I'm getting it for me too. Like, I just think <laughs> this is going to be so fun for us. So we, here it is in clear. Now the clear has the yellow. And again, you're getting right. your hummingbird feeder that is a top fill design, which is awesome. You could even put it tabletop, but of course meant to hang. And then you get your hand feeder, which you'll also fill right in here. You just put the nectar in there and then you can have them go to work. That's your clear. 1,200 have already been ordered. Here's your red. Oh no, I'm sorry, only 1,200 are left. I'm sorry, only 1,200 have been left. Here's your red. We only have 900 left. And then look at this pretty pink that's done in like a rose gold. We are down to, however, 
300 left and that is it. It has a really pretty retro design. I don't know, there's something about that diamond cut glass that feels like a yeah, little bit 1940s beautiful. to me. Um, but Sean, I just think that watching hummingbirds is, first of all, it's that little spark of joy, right? They're there and then they're not. They're there then they're not. Like, right. it's just, it's so fun. It feels magical to catch a sight of them and that's what you'll get from the big one. But the fact that we're all going to be feeding hummingbirds out of the palm of our hand. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be so exciting because I love to see them just when they're flying around yeah. feeding. Now, if I can see them up close and they'll feed from the palm of my hand, that's like a whole new dimension. As you said, it's like getting two feeders in one. I love that it's a top fill. I love that it's all glass. And you can hang it in Shepherd's Hook, you can set it on the table, whatever you want. Just watch well, Sean, we'll have to compare notes. Maybe I can get some pictures too of our hummingbirds. Right. We'll, have to, we'll have to switch pictures. <laughs> oh, great. if you want the clear, we have fewer than 1,000 now. Pink, fewer than 200. And 700 in the very popular red. This would make a really, really nice gift even for kids to use. Okay. Well, this is a big deal because this 